we got a new structure, the ancient city. And honestly, I can't stop thinking about what it would look like when it was fully restored to its original state. So today we are doing exactly that. Welcome back to the survival series. We just updated our server to Minecraft 1.19 and the ancient city is a really cool looking structure, but it's super dark and destroyed. So it just makes sense that we fully rebuild and restore one of them. First, let's collect all of the blocks that we actually might need for the rebuild. So taking all kinds of stones like deep slate, deep slate bricks, and the site and basalt. We definitely want to do some redstone light up systems there, so also grabbing some redstone lamps. Oh and overall light blocks as well, like lanterns, glowstone and torches. Dark oak is one type of wood that we wanna use as the flooring for the ancient city. So I'm farming this here. Unfortunately I can't use this massive wood farm back there, since that is only for spruce wood. Gotta do the good old manual wood farming method. Alright, this is pretty much it. We can collect some extra blocks there if we ever need to. After searching around for a bit, we found this ancient city, but to be honest, I have no idea how to safely enter this. But what I do know is that today's sponsor Salad will help you make some extra money. Salad is an application where thousands of people use their computers to mine cryptocurrencies and make some revenue. But mining crypto is difficult. Well, it's about a thousand times easier than killing a warden. So let me show you. Download the Salad app using the link below and just install. When signing up, use the promo code warden to get double the earnings for a limited time. And boom, press start and you will see your earnings start to increase in real time. The earnings can be converted into Steam games, a lot of different gift cards or even Minecraft Java account keys. Salad is trusted by almost 900,000 people and paid a total of 5.2 million to its users. While you're not busy killing the warden, put your PC to work and download Salad with the link below. And remember to use the code WARDEN to get double the earnings for a limited time. Thanks to Salad for sponsoring this video. And now let's get back to defeating the warden. Then we just started going slowly, removing every skull creaker and sensor we could find, but it didn't go so well. The warden is really creepy and with the blindness effect you seem to have nowhere to run, or in our case we wanted to fly away. My method eventually was to just run around with just a stack of torches in my hand and place lights everywhere while destroying all the shriekers. I ended up getting jump scared by the warden a couple of times, but other than that it went pretty well. So it's been about an hour and we should be clear of any shriekers here. That means it's now safe to walk around here. The first thing we did was to map out this entire city here, so we can put together a plan. We decided on removing a couple of the hallways, since they basically lead nowhere and most importantly there already is a huge amount of restoration that needs to be done. This here took us an hour together and we got extra blocks to build the rest of the city. Now, as we have the final layout of the ancient city, we went to the creative world to start planning out the whole restoration process. But this is top secret, and you can only enjoy this blurred out version. <coughs> okay, we got a really awesome top secret plan, which will be revealed as we build it. So let's begin. The whole restoration process on the corridors here is not very hard. Just gotta fill in a lot of blocks, make it all look beautiful and light it up. And since we already spent time before planning this out, now we can just follow our plans and build it out. After the long corridor we got these towers here. They only need a bit of light and touch up and ready they are. There also is this small statue that I guess the warden is buried underneath. You definitely don't wanna dig out that thing. This structure here is very odd looking, but after restoring it, I really like the look of it. Has a unique loop at the top and with some light it looks brand new. The tower here is in a really good shape, so my idea is to actually add some new stuff. The top part is modified with some glass, so it's like a watchtower where you can look out for wardens. We just spent 3 hours and 10 minutes getting to this point, and that's not even close to being halfway done. Next, we are going to take on this long road, which leads to the main castle. 
This road will also have a really good redstone system that we will show a bit later. Dark oak floor is a good choice, it gives this whole build so much more color, otherwise it would be all grey, like living deep down in the ground. Oh wait, it is. The towers here will also have redstone systems attached to it, and you can already probably guess how it all works. This entrance is already looking very nice, and we still haven't even gotten to the main structure. Okay, here is what we have. Everything looks dark and scary, but switching this lever here turns on the light for the hallway. And the other lever is to turn on all the posts, making this place just look awesome. But now, onto this lava covered building. Turns out just a couple of lava spots had to be removed and the whole building revealed itself. Here we went for a bit of a different design of the corridors, so all of them wouldn't look the same. All the other structures here were familiar to us, so restoration went quick and easy. As of right now we are 5 hours and 10 minutes into this whole thing. Not too bad, going at a good speed. But the blocks we are using to restore these buildings are running out. Had to take a quick mining trip to fill in our supplies. Wasn't expecting to use this many blocks, but oh well. Then we took on the cube house, which looks like my house designs I did in Minecraft 5 years ago. If you think this is not cool, then you are right, but just wait until we get to the main building. We only need to fix these small parts of the corridors and we can get to the final building. This got the usual Schalke restoration treatment and ended up looking great. And now we can start the final part of the build, the huge castle. The time spent says 6 hours and 15 minutes, so I'm interested to see how long this final part will take us. Starting with the outer wall, it went from a plain and broken wall to a beautifully lit up and fresh looking wall. I fixed the top of the wall to make it look like new and I'm really happy with my work here. Things were so much nicer before the warden started living here. Talk about destruction, just have a look at how destroyed the interior of the castle is. Like what happened here? Did someone try to nuke this thing? Schalke restoration handled it very well and the inside started looking just so cool. I get to start on the main house now, so let's begin from town and moving our way up. And I get to finish off the inside walls here, remembering to add a lot of light as always. But then again, I got to take a mining trip. This definitely adds a lot to our time, but it is what it is. It is what it is! <laughs> alright, alright, the timer is already at over 10 hours now and this feels so close to the finish line, but we gotta keep on going. For the last part, we decided to do a bit of destruction first, because everything was a complete mess. This gave us a clear picture on what we are working on and started rebuilding it, but this time making it 5 times more epic. Our hands were sweaty, eyes tired, shulker boxes empty, but let's be very clear, stopping is not an option here. Are you ready guys to see what 12 hours and 20 minutes of restoration looks like? Absolutely gorgeous of course, but holy crap, just a quick reminder of what it looked like before, and seeing this now just blows me away. I couldn't be more proud of this work we did, so if you wanna check it out yourself, then there is a word download link below. Go and explore, but most importantly, thanks for watching. See ya! Bye!